Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering Atari 5200. Now, this is one of my most requested emulators to set up within LaunchBox. We're gonna be using CAT 5200 to emulate the Atari 5200. Now, this emulator is being actively developed for, and it works very well. There are other Atari 5200 emulators out there that will work in LaunchBox, but I find that CAT 5200 is the easiest to set up and the compatibility is there. Everything that I've tested works very well in CAT 5200. Before we get started, I created this text document. It's just gonna make life easier. We do have to set up a auto hotkey script to escape the emulator by using our escape button on our keyboard or controller automation within LaunchBox. Using this auto hotkey script is very easy and I'll show you how to do it. This is for download in the description if you need it. The next thing you're gonna need to source is the Atari 5200 BIOS, 5200.ROM. And the last thing you're gonna need are some Atari 5200 games. So I have some that are .A52, and I also have some that are .bin. CAT5200 works with both of these extensions. Let's go ahead and download CAT52. The link is in the description. Very easy to do. We're gonna head over to the website down below. Go to Downloads, and we wanna get the .zip. This is a 32-bit application, but it will work with your 64-bit Windows setup. Download the .zip version. I've already placed mine on my desktop. It's gonna come zipped. You just need to extract it. And it'll look something like this when you extract it. Before we can configure this within LaunchBox, we do need to set this emulator up. It's really easy to do. I'm gonna walk you through it real quick. First thing we wanna do is take our 5200.rom and place it in the CAT5200 folder. You can put this anywhere you'd like, but I find putting it here is much easier. You'll know exactly where it is. I have an Xbox One controller connected to my PC right now. I'm gonna launch CAT5200 because we need to configure our controller, set up our BIOS, and then we're almost ready to play some games. CAT5200.exe. It is an ugly interface, but it works great. First thing we need to do is tell CAT5200 where our BIOS is located. We're gonna to go to Machine, BIOS Files, Browse. Now I put my BIOS right in the same folder as my CAT5200, it's 5200.rom. I'm gonna tell it that's the ROM I wanna use. Load, okay. Now we need to set our controller up. We're gonna to go to Options, Input, now it's a little odd to set the controller up within CAT5200, and you have to remember that the Atari 5200 had a weird controller with numbers on it. This is pretty much the layout. I'm gonna be setting up my start, pause, reset, top button, bottom button, up, down, left, right. I'm gonna to try to set up my one, two, and three buttons on my controller. If you need the other buttons, certain games did require them. You'll need to set them up on a keyboard because most controllers don't have enough buttons to set every single key up. Over here, device, choose joystick. Now this does support X input and direct input. We wanna map our start button. I'm gonna make sure start is selected. Click auto detect and press start button on my controller. Now that's mapped as start. Pause, I'm gonna set this up as my select key so we'll make sure pause is selected. Auto detect, press select. You can set this up however you'd like. Same thing with reset. Auto detect, press the corresponding key on your controller. I'll use my D-pad. Auto detect, up, left, right, down. And for this, I'm gonna use my L3 and R3 button for one, two, and I also have one more trigger button free. So this will be my L3. This will be my R3. And this is gonna be my leftover trigger button. Click OK, OK, File, Exit. Now there are other video settings inside of there. There's also sound settings, but I find leaving it stock for most games works great. You might run into a few games you need to mess around with the emulator itself, but for everything I've tested, the stock settings work very well. We're gonna close this folder down. 
I'm gonna locate my LaunchBox directory. That's gonna be under my C drive, users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox. So I'll snap it over here, LaunchBox. I have the Cat52 emulator here, and I have my ROMs. I'm gonna place this in my emulator folder. The Cat5200 emulator itself is gonna go into emulators. I'm gonna back up once in my LaunchBox directory, open games, and place my Atari 5200 games right in here. Close that down. We're now ready to set this up inside of LaunchBox. Let's go ahead and start it up. First thing we wanna do is go to Tools, Manage Emulators, Add. Now I'm just gonna name this Cat5200. Emulator Application Path. We're gonna browse for that. We placed it in our LaunchBox directory under Emulators. Make sure you choose the .exe. Now the Auto Hot Key Script. This will allow us to exit the emulator without having to press Escape twice, or we can use controller automation if you have the premium version of LaunchBox. In the description, you can download this file right here. And all we're gonna do is copy this and we're gonna paste it right in here. Associated platforms, we wanna make this Atari 5200. Default emulator, okay, close. It's time to import our games. We'll go to tools, import, ROM files, this is the import wizard. Go ahead and read everything on screen if you're not familiar with it. Click next. I'm gonna add a folder. That folder is gonna be located in my LaunchBox directory where I placed my Atari 5200 games. I'm gonna add this whole folder here. LaunchBox is gonna sort it out for us and find each game individually inside of this. Okay, next. Platform for imported ROMs, Atari 5200. Click next, choose an emulator. Cat 5200 should already be chosen here. If it's not, you can drop down and find it. Next, use the files in their current location because I already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database, recommended. I just leave this one checked here and click next. We definitely want to download as much artwork as we can for each of these games. So I leave everything checked. Next. If this is your first time importing anything into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is free to use, but they do offer a donation option that will allow you to download more artwork, music, and videos per day. It's definitely worth it, but go ahead and give the free version a try. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? not for Atari 5200. Click Next. Ready to import, the name of the game, the file location, and the file extension. I have .bin and .a52. Click Finish. It could take a little while depending on how many you have, so just sit back and relax. I only imported 14 games, so it was pretty quick. They were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Now over in the left-hand column here, we should have an Atari 5200 option. Here's my games I imported. Looks like it scraped everything perfectly. Now it's time to start a game. I'm gonna go ahead and play Pitfall 2 Lost Caverns. If you do get an error when you first start a game through LaunchBox, you might need to tell Cat52 where your BIOS is located again. You might have changed drives or something like that, and it will definitely affect how Cat5200 finds your BIOS. So just tell it where to find it again, and you should be good to go. I'm going to press Start, and I can start playing. Now you're going to have to get your keys right. Um, not everybody's going to set it up exactly how I set mine up. but this is pretty awesome. Now there's one other thing we can do. I'm gonna go full screen all the time with Cat5200. So I'm gonna press start and select on my controller because I have controller automation set up within LaunchBox, or you can press escape on your keyboard. 
I'm going to right click on a game, open Cat 5200, view, full screen. Make sure full screen is checked, and we want to exit. Now, when we start a game, I'll go with Dig Dug, it'll go full screen. So that's pretty much it guys. You now have Atari 5200 up and running within LaunchBox. This is a great addition to your LaunchBox collection. Hands down, you need to go ahead and get it. There are other emulators out there that work just as well, maybe even better, but this is the easiest one to set up within LaunchBox. And I've noticed all of my games work flawlessly. Like I said, if you start a game through LaunchBox and you have a ROM error, you probably need to tell Cat5200 where your BIOS is located again. Really easy to do, I showed you in the beginning, but I'll show you one more time just to make sure. You can right click, open Cat5200, press escape on your keyboard, that'll bring us back into the menu, machine, BIOS, tell it where your BIOS is located. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe to the LaunchBox YouTube channel because we got a lot of great content on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.